Ben twenty two. Yes. Yeah, ginger powder that is so popular now. The ginger powder is not as good. Try and use the uh, use the uh, fresh, fresh ginger, ginger pepper. Yeah, you also can boil the, the the powder also for some time. Don't don't drink straight. No 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 no. You must boil it such that the energy can come out. Okay? Because when you just put like that and drink, uh, it's just like drinking the powder. <laughs> You must, uh, that's why Chinese medicine, you realize that you must pour very long one, or five bowls to one bowl like that. Huh? All this one, you go to Chinese medicine and they will tell you. Okay, huh? that's all. Huh? Thank you. 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 Uh, in, in the L2, level two, L two, right? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night. So, watch out for all, all our advertisement and you can see what is the timing that we have. Some of the time change from time to time. Very delicious. Okay. We also have a, a pilgrimage tour, right? Uh, this is uh, last year. Okay. We bring tourists, not uh, devotees, to guide tour, guide tour all the way to uh, uh, India. To see all the important sites, the secret site of uh, the Buddha. Okay, so yeah, you can join us. Uh, uh, actually, it was led by our president himself. Okay, so we also have uh, other tour as well, Moro Moro, uh, Dharma Trip, and so on. So there's a lot of tour moving in to see all these Buddhist Buddhist sites. Okay, as well as uh, some, this is a new one, a Japan uh, spiritual tour as well. Okay, to visit those uh, sites which are Buddhist. So as you can see that uh, in the fellowship side, we do a lot of uh, other activities as well. Okay. I'll also cover for Brother Daniel because he's now a teaching. Okay. This is on the creative and performance arts. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, more on him singing, okay, Buddhist singing performance. Okay. Uh, we have children uh, presenting in the Wesa Day. Uh, we also have high jam uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I can actually uh, perform in many, many different places. Okay. Like Wayside Celebration and also Lightning Festival. They are all, they are all they are supporting groups of all of us. Okay. AKB will be there. Okay. And uh, last year we also had one uh, performing class on the La Buddha, the musical. Okay. So where uh, our, um, our chairman itself is singing. Our president is such. Our president is the founder of uh, Wayfair as well. Black the Buddhist song, the first one to write the Buddhist song, uh, English Buddhist song. Okay. Most of the Wayfarers are all old already. The so items are new, the new one, the new one. Okay. Okay. And besides that, they also have a lot of, uh, sometimes we invited. Uh, other group to come over here, so there's a, a true direction is from Indonesia. Okay, so there's a jam session with them. Okay, a lot of you said that we feel shy to talk about. It's because we really do not know very much to talk about, right? So that is where we today started in 2018. You are here. Please take the opportunity, take part in our activities to enhance your product, product knowledge so that you can talk to your friends and your loved ones about Buddhism. Okay? These are the activities that we have run throughout the year and we are actually even more ambitious to hold more of such activities as well as to broaden the range of activities but all depends on you all what do you all like what do you all look forward to so we need the feedback as well as your participation and volunteerism okay so these are the talks we have from many many popular and very knowledgeable and very well trained and talented people who are in teaching Buddhism, spreading Buddhism and sharing Buddhism. One of the very profound and uh, I would say very popular uh, speaker in the country is Venerable Akachita. He has his uh, monastery in 
Taiping. I just now Brother T showed uh, that they have a lot of activities in Taiping, a very nice monastery. And he, together with his group of uh, religious friends, do share the knowledge very well and very wide throughout Malaysia. So when we invite him into PGF, please take the opportunity to come and hear from him, okay? So we also invite many other prolific speakers like Dr. Tan Ho Soon, who is associated with Nalanda. Okay, I think many of you may have heard about Nalanda a Buddhist Society. And we have Dato Chalichia, a lay person, very well grounded in the Dharma knowledge, as well as a very successful corporate man before he retired. And then we have Bante Mahinda, I think without uh, much introduction, then Bante Mahinda is one of the very first few uh, English speaking monks uh, who actually, actually do a lot of Dharma propagation and he is actually, a, 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 I would say, ordained by the, this late chief, uh, K. Sri Dhammananda. And he is actually very well known now in Malaysia, especially in the subject of Metta, Metta Bawana. So you see, every Sunday at BGF, we will actually have one talk by many, many different speakers of different sort of specialties. So when you come here on every, uh, every fortnightly at Sunday BGF, you get to taste and hear and learn from all these speakers of different specialties. Like you see this son, uh, Dr. Tan Ing Kong, he's actually brought in all the way from Sydney. He's a very good Dharma speaker together with his profession, a, prof a very uh, well-established uh, psychologist. He, he came to give a talk, uh, I think, last month. So we have so big variety. Dr. Chang Kai, she is very good in the talk about what? Giving and loving, especially animals, and how to treat animals as if it is another of the very important being uh, that we associate with. And they are Venerable Sumangala, a very well-known nun in uh, Malaysia, in the Klang Valley, uh, who give actually very good talks. Uh, as, and also many ladies like to actually talk to her more regarding the ladies' uh, sort of uh, issues of the day. And uh, Venerable Chief Sarangankara, I think everyone should know, is one of the chief uh, monks in Malaysia, uh, the chief abbot in uh, Santu Trinathan Temple. Here we also see that there is also Kenpo Guru Rinpoche who come and give talks because BGF is well known in the whole of Malaysia as a non-sectarian Buddhist society. Even though we are Theravada based, that means most of our uh, uh, activities are more Theravada, but we accommodate many different types of Buddhist traditions in our place. So therefore it gives the wider perspective of learning. So we also have seminars and forums and the most important of the highlight of 2017 was the talk given by our beloved Achan Brown who came all the way here and we especially get a very big crowd because this building can host a big crowd we have, uh, have a sort of a, a public, not public, but a school hall that is big enough to accommodate the big crowd and uh, we also did live streaming so actually all over the world was also following this program. So it was indeed a great honor for PTF to host this program. We also have Sutta workshops because when we talk about Theravada base, we are actually very, very indebted to historically to many of these profound monks and also Emperor Asoka and so on who managed to carry down the teachings, the original teachings of the Buddha in the Nikayas, where the suttas and the Nikayas. So we have many teachers who are able to elucidate you know, the teachings of the Buddha, the original teachings of the Buddha for the Nikayas, and that's where we organize many sutta workshops. One of the most popular ones is now Achan Brahmali, who is also a, a student under Achan Brahm. He comes here once a year, and we are proud to announce that the last week of March, and early April, he will be here to conduct a nine-day sutta and meditation retreat here in BGF. And it's very popular. So when it's open for registration, I think it's already open for registration, right? Please register because when we reach a certain number, we will close. Okay? 
So we have also other speakers uh, uh, giving this uh, talk of stuff. Okay, this year especially, we are proud to announce that DGF has been established as a center for Api Dharma lessons by the gracious sort of uh, contribution by Sister Caroline that there will be a series of Api Dharma workshops, Api Dharma classes held in this place and it will be actually uh, a, a series, at least it's follow up one after another. So if you come, you must come for the whole series of lessons, then you get the full benefit. Okay, so again, look out for the posters when to register for the classes. So 2018 events, just a few for the start of the year. Uh, the next uh, Sunday BJ, we have a very well-known uh, lay speaker, Brother Benny Liao, who will talk about reflections in daily life. So if you all have nothing more important to do, please be here you know, to enjoy this uh, talk. Then this is one program which I just started uh, this uh, end of last year and yesterday we had a very good crowd to attend what they call the Dharma Fellowship which is a whole morning Dharma activity only which we don't talk about anything except the Dharma. It is also a forum or a place or a time where you can share, speak up what you know or what you feel that how the Dharma can help in your daily life. Everyone is given an opportunity to speak up. Now, most of you come to talk is what? Listen to me. Listen, absorb, absorb, absorb. But no chance to speak up. No chance to express. No chance even to share. So this is an opportunity for you all to come and share. A time for you all to really tell us what you think. Whether good, bad, not good, not bad. But important thing is that share what you have in your heart and your mind. Okay, thank you very much.
it's all homemade. Now the cafe is not for you just to come and eat and go home. It's actually to have fellowship, as what Brother Sinan said. Alright? Get to know each other. Now, in your life, you must have many friends. Alright? Don't just eat, look down on the table and look at the food and then walk home. And you end up, how many friends have you spoken to? No, none. So you are in the lonely planet. <laughs> Alright? So please, get to know each one of you here. By today, you must know at least five people. Huh? Okay? <laughs> Alright. So don't forget, after this, Walk downstairs, the nearest is this staircase over there, you don't have to take the lift, all of you are very young, and you will come to the, the smell will attract you down there. Alright? So Vijay Cafe is actually for everybody and it's for Vijay maintenance again, the fun. Alright? Because the aircon, light, everything needs money. That's why we also sell it cookies, Chinese New Year cookies. Alright? So this is one of our best sellers. So please, before you go, at least take one back home, eh? at least, eh? all right? And uh, we have t-shirts, which when Atom Brown came, we had the secret of happiness. So, and the latest, the last one was Don't Worry, Be Happy, worn by our friend here, all right? And it's very popular. When we went to Penang, there's this Indonesian people in the hotel. Hey, please come. We want to take photograph with you. Oh, we talk, you're so dumb, But, no, the t-shirt is <laughs> All right? It was the t-shirt. All right, so that is under ladies section. And we also have senior citizen trips. It doesn't mean that uh, it must be 60 or 70s. It can be 50s or those who are not working, want to join us, have nothing to do. The youth also can come in. We take a day trip to Penang, Malacca. And the next one, for this year, we are going to Kalimantan. <coughs> It's more like a Thanksgiving trip after Visa. Alright? And uh, we also take care of the senior citizens by also having international trips. The last one was in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai, we visited Ajahn Tajino's place, a retreat center. And this February 25th, we are going to Bogaya for five days. Alright? So 23 of us sign up. And the Bante Saranakara is leading us there the uh, abbot of uh, Sri Lanka Temple in Sanko. Okay, so we have trips under the ladies section too. All right, so uh, next one here is our research and publication. Research is actually, uh, I don't know whether we are doing any research at the moment. All right, uh, publication, we are printing our puja books and it's on its way, maybe it's before we start. All right, we are finalizing, and those who have donated, can you please check your names, whether the spelling is correct, all right? The administrator, yet Xiang, will show you the list, okay? So, uh, what else do we have here? Outreach, buy only newsletter is two months. Every two months, we have one newsletter. I think some of you are holding it. It's called Outreach. Those who have signed up as members, we will either post to you or send it to you by email or you can both ways. Sometimes at night we have nothing to read, just browse through and read the outreach. Okay? And it also and this outreach has been with us for many years, ever since we started EGF. So the president is very proud of this newsletter. There's no other center I can say having newsletters now. Because it takes a lot of work. And our sister may do, we should actually uh, thank her for being the editor of this newsletter. Every time she'll say, hey committee, they're chasing after you, where is your report? Everybody is so busy. So we push ourselves to thank all the newsletter. So after every trip, we need to write a report. And that goes inside them. Okay? So, uh, any questions? Ladies? Please, if you are interested to help us, please go and see us downstairs. And if you want to be in Dolly's volunteer chat group, you can come and see me and I put you inside. And you will know the latest news. Uh, when we need help, you also can be in the group and volunteer yourself. All right? So thank you very much. <laughs> okay.
So uh, I just add on for this area that uh, if you go to YouTube, YouTuber, just type in uh, BGF, okay, you can see all our publication there, but this is not uh, the paper publication, it's all today it's all electronic. So all the talks, almost all the talk we have <coughs> video uh, are all there. Okay, so go to YouTube, just type in Buddhist Gem Fellowship. You should find all our publication online there. Okay? So yeah, and, uh, the last one was uh, we also do a live telecast on the YouTube as well. Hopefully you have more. Okay, uh, morning again. <coughs> with our brother line, we, uh, we are both Dharma Dutta, we handle uh, both the spiritual development and the Dharma propagation part. Now, every Wednesday, these are our regular spiritual activities, cultivation activities. Our Wednesday Meta Meditation classes uh, are held every Wednesday at 8.30. So you can come here at 8.30 and time. Don't need to register, just come in. Okay? We will have a uh, light uh, relaxation exercises followed by Meta Meditation. Most of the time, you will be led live by the President Dr. Sui Dr. Victor Unless it's away, then we'll do a recorded uh, session with him, guided session. Okay? And also we have, uh, from time to time, and also now we have just started the, uh, just now Brother Lai talked about Dharma Fellowship. Once a month we will be having a Saturday morning, 9 to 12. Uh, we'll do a yoga session for an hour, and then after that, uh, Dharma discussion and a meditation. Okay? So those are once a month activities. And uh, we have uh, Vikram is very blessed to have a lot of these things speakers. Uh, this Pante Sujata is from uh, US Chicago area. When he was here, we had he's very famous for meta meditation. So we had a uh, meta meditation with him. And uh, recently, Dr. Sri started a new series called the Meditation Expresso. So besides this, we also run. Uh, Invocation and inspiration sessions, 24 hours beta chanting, and uh, from time to time when our members uh, pass away, we, if we have the resources, we will organize a funeral week chanting for the members. Okay. I just want to previously mention that we, we are very blessed with a lot of business because this doctor children. He's uh, 40 years old as a nun, 40 years as a nun. She's age 67 now. She recently visited BGM uh, in December and conducted a two days uh, Dharma study, uh, Sutta study session with us. And then uh, these are meditation retreats. And uh, every two years, we will be having a Achangra, we are doing a meditation retreat with us. So this year, we are having in Ching Sui Temple in Genting from the December 23rd to 30th December. Those who are interested are kindly registered early. Registration will start in May. We can open now, but if we open now, we will be closed by June, June March. So, so people will, will be very angry with us. So we will open in May and then probably close in somewhere in June, July. Okay. Achan Brown is very hot. <coughs> very, very hot. It's the sessions fill up very fast. In fact, in Australia, if they open up the sessions like Air Asia, Hot Seal. You open up within one hour, one hour is full already. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Genting can take about 150 persons. And, uh, okay, this is Achang Brown. Okay, so, <clears throat> besides the Sunday at DGF, from time to time we, we will have a, we will have speakers coming on, let's say like a Thursday night, like, Coming Thursday night, we have a Tibetan monk called the Anam Tokten Rinpoche. So from time to time, we have these odd hours, uh, people coming in, because uh, this is to suit the visitors' time. You see, many of these visitors come from overseas, and they, they will tell me that they only have Thursday available. So I will say, okay, on, just come. Then we organize something for them. So Bijan is very lucky that uh, first we have the flexibility of able to do things fast, 
And also we have a, a lot of good contacts where people like to come and visit us. So do come and join many of these uh, visiting monks uh, from overseas. They are very, very well sought after speakers. Okay, thank you. Ah, okay, one more, sorry. Uh, okay, I'd like to stress the Achan Brahmani's uh, retreat is on from uh, 17 to 21st of March. The early bird registration is closing on the 15th of January. Acham Brahmani. Acham Brahmani is Acham Brahm's right hand man. So one more week, uh, I'll be closing the Acham Brahmani's uh, med meditation and sutta retreat. There will be two sessions, both are five days each. First, we'll be having a sutta, sutta retreat, which is a non-stay in. Both also can be non-stay in. Six, from uh, Saturday 16, 17 of Saturday to 21st of March. Okay, there will be a five days uh, meditate, uh, sutta retreat where he will be doing sutta studies with us. He will, we will distribute the materials and then uh, Achan will guide us through the suttas and he will be explaining it. So uh, Achan Brahmani is a practicing monk and you find it very inspiring because uh, the way he explains is from his own cultivation and you find like uh, he's, he's bringing the Buddha to life in front of us, like like very inspiring uh, thought sessions. Okay? So, if you have not attended before, can do join us, okay? And uh, do register fast because uh, uh, we, are, we are trying to fill up the places fast. And after the twenty first, from twenty second to twenty second to twenty sixth, we'll be having a meditation retreat with Acham Brahmani. Okay, this will be an optional one. If you like to go back after the retreat, you are most welcome. It'll be from uh, 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening. So you can go back and uh, stay at home and then come back the next day. Or if we can accommodate you, if there are places, you are also welcome to stay in India. Okay? So it's up to you. Okay, back to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yeah. Achan Brahm's uh, trip is actually on off Penang. And this is Penang. So next year, uh, no, last year is Penang. <laughs> This will be in uh, Vichy. Okay, I'll cover for the rest of uh, training and leadership. So last year, uh, these are the activities we have in uh, training and leadership. Effective speaking course, okay, designed for you know, uh, police community uh, and especially leaders. Okay. So every year we have this training uh, moving on. So if you want that, uh, watch out for our advertisement, then just register with us. Okay. So these are these are the past uh, activities we have enhance your public speaking skills and you know, persuasive and so on. Yeah. We also have uh, yeah, other than that <coughs> in the uh, effective speaking course we have like you know it's like a, a course itself okay and uh, next year this uh, this year so this year we have two more uh, one is effective speaking course will be somewhere in September no, to November and MC training course okay March to April so watch out for this MC course. Okay, we good at you know, how to, to be able to stand up here and talk uh, without fear. Okay. Uh, do you want something? Else? Okay, I'll also call, uh, I'd like to get represented from the youth connection present for all. <coughs> Okay, I'm the morning brothers and sisters, so I'm uh, Kirby from EGF Youth Connection, and we call ourselves uh, YC. So, um, Youth Connection is, was established to meet the secular and spiritual needs of Buddhist youths nowadays. Because we realised that um, many times, especially for young adults, uh, oh yeah, also we cater for the age group between 18 to 30 years old. Um, I think most of you here are over that age, maybe some of you are still within, but if you have like let's say children or uh, family members or friends who are interested to learn more about Buddhism, but and more importantly is to apply, learn the practical skills and how to apply Buddhism in their daily lives to overcome any sort of um, difficulties for instance, you can suggest, I um, mean you can recommend them to come for our sessions, youth connection sessions and also this um, inter-college and varsity or we or commonly known as Imperial Dharma camps. So um, yeah, in Buddhist gen culture connection, we focus on a lot on 
not just you know um, learning Buddhism on its own, but like I mentioned, it's not how to apply it in our daily lives. And just like what Brother and I mentioned, when we are when we are associated with a brand such as Buddhism, we need to have sufficient ample product knowledge about it, especially at this age where um, we'll be uh, exposed to many other influences in life. So if you want to be we want to be proper representations of, uh, if you want to be representative of the Buddhist community, we should at least have, uh, you know, relevant, ex uh, relevant knowledge and experiences. So in Kumar Nava Camp, through in the... He killed his mother. Sorry. So through this community called YC, we share and support each other's Dharma journey through, um, virtual discussions, face-to-face -face discussions. We share insights. We go for retreats together, camps together, and we even have inter-Buddhist association activities together, such as like, um, even the Kobanama camp itself, although it is um, fully, uh, it is run it by PGFYC, we do have community members from all other Buddhist societies, youth societies in the Klang Valley. So we are very close-knit, a very well-connected community, a network of Buddhist leaders and, and Buddhist practitioners, youth practitioners as well. So, um, yeah, if, so if you're interested, uh, oh, sorry, aside from that, so the, the flagship events that we have are such as um, the youth connection sessions. Uh, this is where we have, we usually invite um, speakers, Dharma speakers. It's very similar to Sunday at BGM, except after that we have an output learning activity because listening to Dharma talk is mostly input and for youth we require, I mean, we need a lot of output learning as well to fully immerse ourselves in the Dharma experience, to taste the food of the Dharma. So that is our goal through youth connection session. Um, we also offer serve our service at uh, various events that are organized by our parent body, uh, Buddhist Gen Fellowship. Like uh, what you saw just now, the night of Buddhist music and all these very fun, very beautiful events, right? We will be there uh, helping out in either um, ushering or maybe even decorations itself, emceeing and so forth. Um, we do provide community service as well because we believe, uh, because in the spirit of doing dana, right? Um, dana bana. So, um, and Outdoor learning, we also, we, organize, we also organize outdoor learning, uh, outdoor awareness activities. So this is when we invite meditation experience and certified meditation teachers to come and guide us uh, on mindfulness while doing something fun and, you know, um, fellowship bonding such as uh, a, a hiking trip or just a trip to the waterfall. And special interest activities, so uh, we do have this moonlight band where people come together and sing Dhamma hymns. So it's a good way to bond, especially for youth. Yeah, just to summarize our motto of cultivating values and empowering youth. Um, through this, we aim to actually foster fellowship of Buddhist youths who are not only knowledgeable about the Dhamma, but are able to share through their experiences and to share through similar experiences as well to other schools also aim to, to get to know the Dharma better. So yeah, hope you will spread this message to all other youths around. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I'll um, briefly cover uh, the rest of it. Uh, yeah, these are the other items we have, Maha Sankhadana. There is a, a time where we offer food to the community of monks uh, or, or of Sangha. So uh, last, last year we have uh, nine days of Maha Sankhadana during Vesakha. So please watch out uh, for our activities and do participate. A lot of people actually. Okay, and then you also have the Vesak Day special with Pinapata. Pinapata is where you actually put in uh, food into the bowl, the arms bowl. Today you hardly see uh, monks carrying arms bowl and going out. They mostly some uh, dana. So these are one of the practice, go back to the original practice. Uh, you can find this in the, like Taipei, you know, where the monks actually come down from the from the jump, uh, from the for the hills, yeah, for the hills, they actually walk down and then you, you actually offer uh, uh, rice or uh, food into the boat. Okay? And uh, we start day uh, last year, we have this uh, rare exhibition. Uh, this year we have not planned anything yet, but I think it will be something good. Yeah, correct. We have a we start film festival for this year. Okay? It will be about four or five days of film festival. So could, there will be a lot of films coming in from uh, all overseas. So we we'll have it this year. Uh, last year we have an exhibition. Okay, and uh, offering of ropes and requisites to the monks. 
one of the uh, second major uh, celebration of Buddhist. Okay, this at Wesa, we have a, a day we call Katina, but we cannot, uh, we cannot, uh, we're not qualified for Katina because it's not, it's not a temple. Okay, and we don't have Sima Hall, and we don't have a monk staying for three months in the over there. So what we can do is we just offer it to you. Okay, other than that, uh, we are also very active in the uh, national level. Okay, uh, the, this year we went to Bujang, Bujang Valley. Right? Bujang Valley, as you all know, is a Hindu, Hindu uh, kingdom in the past. Actually, uh, there's a research, there's a lot of good research over there, and we found that actually inside there, actually it's a Buddhist kingdom. Okay? Both like, Buddhist and Hindu com combination there. So we went there and uh, actually we dig up a lot of things and then uh, understand the Bujang, Bujang Valley. So I think in future there will be a lot of this uh, Bujang, uh, Bujang trip okay? uh, going down. I, I think yesterday they went through uh, Shala, they went, they went down to Bujang Valley to visit the site, the archaeology site. If you want to see, because the government actually uh, closed up this area and closed the area to preserve the, 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 the historical uh, site. Really. So we can actually visit them. Okay, and uh, yeah. The connection is not already cover all. I might just go through the photo. Okay, BGF Cafe. Okay, one of the uh, every Sunday when we have a Sunday BGF, there will be a cafe supporting us. So after this trip, maybe after the tour, we can actually go down and take a look uh, and uh, enjoy the food there. Today is what nasi lemak, nasi something. Nasi dagang. Nasi dagang. Oh, okay, delicious. Hungry. Okay. Okay. Then uh, they have a lot of things just mentioned now. The wheeling and then, uh, a lot of things over there. And they also have a local trip, like uh, Ipoh trip, and uh, they can go for overseas as well. Okay, now, uh, here's some time. Uh, have you connected with us or not? Okay, so our website, www.gforg.org.my. Uh, so if you're not, go into that area, you see us there. Okay, or, okay, or you can actually uh, get our web, uh, WhatsApp broadcast. Means you, first of all, you need to save your, save this number. Okay, 018 Then you scan this or you go to the website, uh, went to your uh, browser and scan it, type in this number and register yourself. Okay, so this is very important because today everything is using WhatsApp already. Uh, WhatsApp or, of course, you are not, not China, so you don't need to check so much. So, WhatsApp, so use a WhatsApp and uh, every single activity that we have, we will broadcast to the area. Um, through this uh, channel, this is a very, very active channel here. Okay, you can scan, you can scan, or else you can cut in. I'll leave this page later on for you. Okay? And uh, if you are a, if you want a weekly, uh, if you're a member, if you're a member of our BGF, then you should be receiving a weekly update from email, email update. Okay, if you don't receive, then let us know. Then the secretary know, then maybe some, something, you can, you can just add it for you. Okay? So for all members, you will receive an uh, email update as well. Or, or, in other ways, go to our Facebook, okay? BGF, type in BGF, type in like, okay? Like, and then click here, see first. Uh, then you, whenever update from the, uh, uh, from our site, you will find, you will see first, you will also appear in front of you, okay? So, there are many ways today in a uh, uh, society that you can actually get to know us better, okay? And uh, important is to know our activities so that you can join and participate, okay? We are uh, very active. Okay? We have different different uh, pillar, different different core of activities. So it's very diversified. Not only Dharma, but we also have social and, and counseling and also uh, even uh, fellowship and also OPT, you know, health and so on. So do join us uh, in our activities. Okay? Yeah. So uh, yeah, one more. Uh, later on, uh, we need your feedback uh, for this session. So you can scan this number. Okay, you can scan this uh, uh, QR code, then there's a, there's a question there. Just answer this, we've got three questions only. Two questions only. Huh? Two questions only. Three, yeah, three, sorry. Three, three questions, simple questions, just tick, 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 no compulsory. And then give us a feedback, uh, what you think about us, and how you want to know about us, and what you want, or which area you want to join us. Okay? So, uh, are you listen here? So, I think, uh, this nice, five minutes, any Q&A, question, question and answer. Any question for the floor? Or are we too much for you already? This is so heavy now, eh? Okay. Uh, YouTube, which one, which one is it? 
Buddhist Gem Fellowship. There's one large one and there's one. They're both the same. Same. Yeah. The alter image. Oh, alter image. Every Sunday there's Pichami. Alternate Sunday. Alternate Sunday we have we have a Buddhist yeah. Gem Fellowship, and but the other alternate we were going to have the uh, uh, Dharma one zero one. So it will be like next this year onwards it will be all Sunday with full way. All Sunday full. Okay. But for children it's only alternate Sunday. Okay, because uh, we we cater for a uh, different different environment. But uh, for adult, because it's a time for 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 the adult, young adult, working adult, and also my my Dharma teachers who actually learn about Dharma. Because they be teaching there, they don't know, they don't have time to listen to Dharma talk. So we cater for all these uh, uh, other people who don't have opportunity to listen to Dharma. For the Dharma one zero one. Okay. So uh, if you, important is now is to get into our. Uh, WhatsApp. Okay. When you go to WhatsApp, you will get all information. Any activities coming coming by, huh? one week or two weeks, you will see all these broadcasts out already. Huh? So bear with me sometimes, you know, a lot of things will go you, but I think it's okay. Right? At least you are updated with our latest uh, information. Okay? So, uh, any question? If no, then uh, our committee here uh, will take you for a tour. So, uh, yeah. For those who are not, Know, know about this place before, so you can actually uh, join us. Yeah. I think one person can take about four, four to five person only, so that you can listen to them properly. Uh, those who want to go for tour, this uh, set up and then follow them. They'll take you up and down. <laughs> so probably you'll take one, one, one trip, uh, one, one group. Put your hand in and four person can follow. Four person can follow. Run right here and then four person over here. Who else? Who else will lead the control? You can come back to here later on to see how you can